Are you in your early 20s? But you constantly find that you keep downplaying yourself no matter how good you are, no matter how talented, skillful, amazing, terrific or wonderful you might be. Well, in this video, I'm about to share with you the things you need to do that can help you to get rid of that feeling, to get rid of that thought, to change that perspective and how you can move past it and be better for yourself. If you're ready for this, then definitely keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. My name is Akhari Ajibodi and you can call me Kore. <laughs> here it's all about intentional living, encouraging you to embrace the power in your story and your uniqueness and as well owning it. Now about the topic of today which is how to stop downplaying yourself in your early 20s or maybe rather in your 20s generally. However it speaks to you, pick the lesson and run with it as fast as you can. <laughs> I'm also in my early 20s just like you watching me right now and yeah how interesting is it that you're hearing this from someone your age bracket it, it is, makes it much more even inspiring that someone your age bracket knows this and you as well need to come on board and also be a better person for yourself this and I've been able to experience it to see that you know what dumpling myself in my early 20s is just me like wasting my time you know the first thing you need to do is you need to shut down limiting thoughts i'm sure you've probably heard this a couple of times a lot of people must have said this to you or you must have seen somebody talk about it here and there but it's the truth when something is being repeated constantly then that should be a signal to you that this is the truth and there is something about this that i need to pay attention to how do you think about yourself how do you feel about yourself how do you perceive yourself all of these things do matter and if you find yourself that you need limiting yourself through your thoughts then you need to shut down those limiting thoughts think highly of yourself that's where it starts from it starts from the mind up next is you need to take risk and be daring you're in your early 20s so he now it is the time that you have to really experiment a couple of things experiment learn be make yourself better and do a lot more and a lot more for yourself for yourself focused you know i'm not saying be selfish i'm not saying selfish i'm not saying be self-centered i'm only saying that this is the time when you need to focus on yourself think about yourself at the same time spread love and pass you know positive vibes good energy to those people around you if you get what i mean you look back at your early 20s and be like oh i wish i just was able to do a lot of things like this i was able to do that i'm only here to say to you that in your early 20s for you to stop down playing yourself you need to take risk and also be daring because if you don't have a daring spirit if you don't have that spirit that is willing to let yourself be and let yourself explore or go on an adventure you always downplay yourself even when opportunities are before you you will not see them because you've already limited yourself in your mind you've already limited, limited yourself in so many ways so you might not even really see opportunities when they come you might not even be able to take opportunities when they're even given to you because you are in that space where you keep downplaying yourself because you're not willing to take risks. you're not brave enough you're not daring enough now the next thing you need to do to stop downplaying yourself is that you hang around uplifting people and you need to be extremely deliberate about this guys i can't overemphasize on how the kind of people you surround yourself with can affect your thought process your mindset your perspective and that can actually also lead to how much you downplay yourself how much you think less or good or amazing of yourself because the things you feed your mind the things you focus your mind on grows and the more they grow the more they it's like a seed planted in you and the more it grows it begins to bear fruit like jealousy feeling intimidated i mean to start with you probably downplaying yourself and that can actually be one of the reasons why you're downplaying yourself maybe you're surrounding yourself with the wrong set of people or with the people that are putting you under pressure or people that you feel they are you know that are probably rubbing in your face the kind of lifestyle that they live they start feeling like oh you can never be like them i don't know whatever it might be very attentive and deliberate very very deliberate hang around uplifting people in your early 20s if possible hang around people who are way older than you hang around people who are you know you know more experienced than, than you are people who have 
probably life already figured out more if you if you are surround yourself around people who are stronger than you spiritually people who can encourage you hold your hands and lift you up those are the kind of people you should hang around with and like i said be very deliberate about this because it really plays a lot it has a lot to do with you dumpling yourself the next thing is stop debating start executing whatever the lord has laid in your heart or whatever you are you are interested in to do stop just debating about it stop letting doubtful thoughts make you just stay there and be like ah oh, okay what if i do this oh what if i do that guess what guys i used to be there am i still in that space yes i am still in that space i'm still that girl who sometimes feel like oh if i do this oh what will happen oh if i do this oh what will happen if i do that oh so whenever i have things to do or whenever i want to start something new i always have those kind of limiting thoughts that make me limit myself or probably make me downplay myself that oh i'm not the kind of person i'm not the person that should be doing this oh i'm not the person that should be doing that stop it if, before i shot this video i had that feeling and i'm like whatever i'm shooting it i don't care but if i do thoughts come up in your mind have a defensive thought to it like you know what no i am made for this i am made for greatness remind yourself of the promises of god in your life own your life create the life that you want you know it might not be easy it might be difficult it might take it might be it might take you to be extremely disciplined and go the extra mile but create the life that you want don't even wait for things to be perfect don't wait for things to be all put together before you kick start before you see yourself you know execute the things that you really want to don't wait for perfect situation instead of waiting for perfect situation maximize all of the resources available to you and exhaust those opportunities exhaust those resources and when you exhaust those resources then you know that okay yeah I've been able to exhaust all these things that I have within my 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 reach. What can I do to move further than where I am now? The next thing that you need to do to stop down playing yourself is to constantly, constantly invest in yourself, guys. Investing in yourself spiritually, physically, mentally, in your in terms of your career path, in in terms of your skills and your passion and your drive in every form in your early 20s one thing that can help you to stop down playing yourself guys or in your 20s generally sharpen your skills go for conferences go for events you know network build your network you know expand your connections this is the time these are the things that will help you to boost your confidence that will help you to stop downplaying yourself because when you're knowledgeable about something there is this excitement to execute there is this excitement to express it to the world or those around you if you get what i mean but if you don't know much you're not confident enough to step out all right so that's why you need to invest in yourself you know invest in your skills spiritually mentally in all ramifications of your life watching videos listen to podcasts you know rubbing minds with people who are much more older than you you get what i mean constantly invest in yourself like in fact even after your early 20s like all the days of your life this should be something that you hold to your chest never stop learning okay now the next thing is stop comparing yourself comparison is the fastest soul killer comparison i'm sure you've heard it several times to so stop comparing yourself because the more you compare yourself the more you keep down playing yourself the more you compare yourself the more you not see the best in yourself the more you compare yourself the more you won't see anything good out come out of yourself because you're looking at that person like wow this person has it all ah, wow this person's life is just wonderful ah, this person's life is home point <laughs> But I mean, yeah, the more you look at other people's life and compare your life with theirs, you keep on downplaying yourself because you feel like, oh, this kind of thing is made for those kind of people. It's not made for people like me because what do I have? What do I know? I have a small head. I have a small lips. Oh, I, you're human like they are human. Focus on your path. Focus on, on your journey and don't let what you see around you affect who you are or how you perceive yourself so stop comparing yourself they that you're comparing yourself to they are on their own journey on their own path it's something i've realized about you know we in our 20s is that we we naturally compare ourselves with people who are way older than us imagine you that you're 20 comparing yourself to someone who is 30 with how now how how do you want to do it do you want to climb the ladder 
you will not climb the ladder of a whole decade and then jump to that 30 years because the person has gone through tons of experiences that you also have to calm down and go through your own experiences to reach whatever goal you want to reach and on the other hand you compare yourself to people who are your age mates who have been able to do things extremely great and you're like oh i can never even reach that level oh i can never even get to that stage oh it's not even for people like me come on shut up just shut up <laughs> I am saying this because the people that are your age mates, who you have seen farther than you, who have gone ahead of you and have done wonderful things, and you guys are age mates. What have you looked at your background? Do you know the kind of family they came from? The kind of morals that they had that you were not opportune to get? Weigh your options before you compare yourself. Look at these things. In fact, not never even compare yourself. Don't compare yourself for any reason, no matter what in this life. Nothing should make you compare yourself. Remember that we all started our journey in the, in different ways forms and shapes and we can never ever be the same the earlier you remember this the better for you this is all i have to share with you sometimes there are things that we don't pay attention to that really goes a long way in affecting the way we think and our outcomes this is actually one of these things because the moment you keep downplaying yourself repeatedly you'll find that you're beginning to lose your self-confidence but when opportunities are given to you you will miss those opportunities why because you are in a space where you don't even think more of yourself you've written yourself off. so even if there are people who believe in you you don't believe in yourself it's to end up a waste because you yourself don't see potential in yourself and these are the little seeds that you are planting that is causing you to downplay yourself and I just shared with you how you can stop them and move past it I hope this video was really helpful to you I hope you learned one or two things you're able to pick one or two things out of it really guys it's not really about the age it's about the struggles in this phase of our lives and really I just really want to talk about it so guys thank you so so much for watching please do make sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and make sure to drop a comment in the comment section let me know how you feel about all i have said do you find it interesting do you find it helpful let me know in the comment section and what other questions do you have i would like to answer them in the comment section as well and i'll see you all on the next one don't forget to make this all time spread love and thank you bye guys Take care.